have lived in Copenhagen for four years. I moved here in 2017 after winning a scholarship to write my master's thesis in International Law of the Sea at the University of Copenhagen. While doing research for the thesis, I found my dream job in Copenhagen in the field of law in which I wanted to specialize. So I came back to Italy, to Torino, my city, just to get my degree. And then I started my career here in Denmark. I have worked hard for three and a half years, had a lot of satisfaction and learned a lot. Copenhagen has given me a lot. It is a very beautiful city, big but not too hectic, with a very good vibe. Since I've learned the Danish language, I've been able to fully immerse myself into Copenhagen's vibrant culture and I've built relationships that will last for the rest of my life. I've learned to ride my bike everywhere, whizzing around as the Danes do, to live with the hostile weather and to pronounce impossible Danish words. I became addicted to black rye bread and learned to appreciate Nordic food. I absorbed the concept of hygge, the warmth of being together, of having a cozy house with a quiet atmosphere. I started to appreciate more the time spent in nature, even when the weather is bad. The wind and the cold have hardened me, making me able to face situations I would have not have imagined before. Copenhagen has been, is and will always be a home for me, but one home, not my only home. Just as I can no longer define myself, my person, with a single word, I can't even identify a single home. Over the past four years, I have gradually realized that I cannot live here permanently. Other roads are the ones I want to travel, other places the ones I want to stop at, other adventures the ones I want to live. I have a big dream that has accompanied me since I was a child and that has grown so much inside me that I could not contain it anymore. And to make this dream come true, I must now leave Copenhagen. This is the home where I have lived for the past four years, which I have loved since the very first day I came here to visit my boyfriend. I will come back here from time to time and some of my things can stay here. Now I have to decide what to take with me. It's always difficult for me and I think for everyone to put my life into one or more suitcases. I feel like there's always so much stuff to bring. However, this time I am in a better situation because um, I'm not leaving this apartment forever and I can leave some of my stuff here. Of course, the stuff I am not planning on using uh, where I have to go. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's better than when I had to leave London or Canada or Paris because there I really had to either bring the things with me or throw them out. So uh, it was a quite a drastic choice. Um, right now I'm in a better position, but still I have to collect all the things that I really need uh, where I am going and I'm not going to tell you where yet. Um, and then to make sure not to leave anything important and also not to fill my suitcases with things I don't actually need. So I need to find a balance. I can use a 23 kilo suitcase and half a 15 kilo suitcase and a backpack. So I don't have that much room. I really have to choose well what I want to bring with me. I will start from my wardrobe. I will identify the clothes that I want to bring with me, uh, those that I want to give to volunteers uh, to bring them to people who cannot afford to buy clothes. Um, and the clothes that I can leave here and then I will choose some books to bring there are really many many books I want to bring but I cannot do that and I'm lucky enough that I can leave some of my books here otherwise I don't know what I would do and then uh, electronics and other things I will need for my new life
The next task is cleaning the kitchen. I want to remove all the food, flour, rice, everything that is here in the cupboards. Uh, and then I want to clean everything nicely uh, because since we're not going to live here anymore, I just want it to be clean when we go away. So it's going to be clean when we come back. Hi friends, this has been an extremely busy week with work, uh, more than I expected. I knew I would have to work a lot, but uh, this was really, really a lot. I got home late from the office and then I still had to work more um, after dinner in the evening. And my plans were a bit different. In my mind, I was supposed to pack everything day by day. I had my packing schedule and it didn't go as expected, but uh, I had started packing in advance. So, I mean, I I'm quite now and it's not too late we are leaving tomorrow morning we have the flight at 8 uh, my suitcases are here behind me oh not only my suitcases our suitcases are here uh, behind me I just have to pack my backpack with all the electronics and the YouTube equipment that takes quite a lot of space once that's done I just have to arrange a few things in the apartment we have already cleaned the fridge uh, defrosted if that's a word uh, the freezer uh, and remove all the food that was around uh, the kitchen it doesn't feel too bad to leave the apartment I thought it would be worse but the thought that we're gonna be back at some point removes the sadness but I'm super excited for for what's coming next and uh, next week you're gonna finally 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 uh, understand what uh, the mystery is what the secret is uh, I'm sorry I've been teasing you so as I said we're flying tomorrow morning at 8 but the place we're flying to or the place we're arriving at tomorrow is not my final destination we are gonna um, go somewhere else so if you follow me on Instagram you're gonna see what's gonna happen over the next days and maybe you're already gonna get an idea of what's going on what the secret is uh, but everything is gonna be revealed in the next video. I just have a few things to get done before relaxing and going to bed. Um, I really need to rest because this week has been super busy, as I said, and I haven't slept that much. And tomorrow the flight is very early, so it's time to get some rest. Uh, I'm really looking forward to telling you all the things that I haven't told you yet. Uh, I'm very, very excited and I hope that all this is gonna be worth the wait.